I'm nobody. Who are you? Come in. I'm nobody. Who are you? Mr. Nobody? Please, please. Sit down. And call me Dick, honey. <laughs> All right, Dick, honey. I'm worried about my husband, Mick. He's lost his spark. His what? His spark, his drive, his joie de vivre. He just sits at home all day staring at the walls. <laughs> a man doesn't just lose his spark. It's taken from him, like sunblock at a nudist camp. You mean? Yes, that's right. Somebody made off with Mick's moxie. I'll need to speak to everyone who had access to it. Everyone? Everyone. <laughs> You're the gardener. Cha-ching? Ching cha Right. Tell me something, Cha-ching. When was the last time you saw Mick's moxie? Well, I'm talking about his chutzpah. Chueo? You know, his uh, je ne sais quoi. Qui vous employe? Does he know anything? All I got out of him was. Chueo? Chueo? Ordre je ne sais pas. Qui vous employe? So, you're the pool boy. Yeah, that's me. I'm looking for Mr. Walter's spunk. Well, I, I wouldn't know about that unless he left it in the pool. But they don't usually have people over. I'm having trouble finding Mick's moxie. Um, do you remember when you first noticed it was missing? Was there anything going on in the house at the time? Well, my mother came to live with us. Where are my slippers? Uh, Mom, we need your help for a minute. What do you want? I need to talk to you about Mick. <laughs> and no good bum. I told him three days ago I needed lotion for my chafing. I'm on fire down here. Where is it? What? You know what I'm talking about. Edie, your mom made off with Mick's moxie. It's as plain as the mole in her face. Where'd you put it? Ha! <laughs> you'll never find it, and after tonight it won't matter. Edie, what's for dinner? The cook said we're having cojones. <gasps> no. So... How are they hanging? Well, once they thawed out, they were fine. And we just want to thank you for finding my husband's... You know. That's my job, Edie. It's not the first time I've stopped a mad mom from making matzo ball soup out of a sad man's moxie. Tell your husband next time to sleep with his pants on. Like me. All the way up to his chin. Ah! <laughs>